All right, Mike, thank you. I want to bring Rick Green uh, back in here. Um, when you see Chris talking about DeSantis like that, I'm thinking, wait a second, Florida has the low, he won't care for you if you're sick. They have the lowest COVID numbers anywhere in the country. Thoughts? He's done a better job than any governor in the country, no doubt about it. And if anybody's prepared uh, for the The lies of the left and the attacks that are coming. And if Charlie Crist is the one that's going to bring them, bring it on. If anybody's prepared to respond to that and let it roll off his back as Ron DeSantis. So I actually look forward to this. I'm glad to hear Charlie Crist is going to run for this office. And uh, I think we're going to see Ron, Ron DeSantis do really well. The people of Florida love him. Uh, and the people of America love him now mm -hmm. because he set the example. Look at all the other states that are now following Florida. Unless, unless DeSantis becomes president. In a, in That's a few true. Years as well, <laughs> uh, when you see all of the things, the COVID restrictions, I'm glad the Vatican's back open and you can go look at the beautiful artwork and all this. I, I've wondered, Rick, and I want to ask you this: Why the American people? I've been surprised how compliant they've been, and then I realized that the left worships government, so they would be compliant. Yeah, they, they, there really is a worship of two golden calves, two false gods, uh, government and pseudoscience. It's not even real science, but govern, government and pseudoscience. And and it's lulled us in uh, the nation into this fear. I mean, look at the girl that passed out winning that race uh, because uh, she had been forced to wear a mask while running outside. It's time for the American people to wake up and look, look at the science. And, and I get it. In some ways, we're embarrassed. If you've been wearing a mask for the last year, everywhere you went, you don't want to admit that maybe that was a mistake. But hey, I wore parachute pants in the 80s. There's actually photographic evidence of it. I just have to live with that for the rest of my life. Uh, same thing goes for all anybody that wore a mask for the last year, everywhere you went outside. Forget about it. Move on. It's time to get out of the fear. Unmask. There's stop living by lies. Yeah, the parachute pants on you. That's a. <laughs> I can't get that out of my uh, head, Rick. Uh, thank you for that. I can't believe I just admitted that on national television. I'm, uh, uh. Well, uh, here's the deal. You can't touch this, right? So uh, I'm, I'm glad you did that. Rick Green, thank you for being with us today. God bless you. It's always, it's always wonderful to have you on with us. Such a cheerful thing. I want, we want to.